Want to know more on labor standards? Good morning ma'am. I'm Jerome Cruz. I received a phone call the other day asking me to come here for an interview. Oh. Good morning Jerome. I'm Rose. Mr. Gonzalez is secretary. You are a bit early. The boss is still in a meeting. Would you mind waiting for a bit? Oh. That would not be a problem ma'am. I could wait. Mr. Gonzalez is now ready to see you. Good luck. Thank you, ma'am. Well, I am impressed, Mr. Cruz. I say, welcome to the company. Thank you very much, sir. I will really do my best to serve this company well. Glad to hear that. Now then, Rose will accompany you to the HR department for your orientation. Again, welcome. Thank you, sir. Good morning Sheila, this is Jerome Cruz, a new employee in our IT department. Good morning ma'am. Good morning too. Jerome, congratulations and welcome to the company. Have a seat. Sheila, Mr. Gonzalez wants you to orient Jerome on matters relative to his employment in our company. Alright Rose. I will. Okay. I'm going back to my station now. Have a good day, both of you. Thank you, ma'am. No worries. So, Jerome. Now that you are employed, you are entitled to receive wage as well as other wage-related benefits that are provided for in the Labor Code, such as normal hours of work, overtime pay, holiday or premium pay, night shift differential, rest days, 13th month pay, and leave benefits. Aside from the benefits provided for by the law, employees of this company also enjoy other additional benefits, provided for in the collective bargaining agreement with the employee's bargaining agent. On work hours, we normally work for 8 hours a day. A 1 hour time off for regular meal is provided for an 8 hour work day. The 1 hour meal period is excluded from the 8 hour work day and is non-compensable on overtime. If you are required to work in excess of 8 hours, then you are entitled to overtime pay. On an ordinary workday, you will be paid the hourly rate plus 25%. On rest days, special day or regular holiday, you will be paid the hourly rate plus 30%. And if you are asked to work between 10 in the evening and 6 in the morning, you are entitled to a night shift differential pay of 10% of the hourly rate. Oh, and I have been mentioning rest days a while ago. A rest day is 24 consecutive hours or one day for every six days of work. Rest days can be scheduled on a Sunday or any day by the employer upon consultation with the employees. In our case, our rest days are scheduled on Sundays. Any questions so far? I would just like to know. What if I am required to work on a holiday or rest day, will there also be additional compensation for me? If you work on a holiday or rest day, you are entitled to your basic pay plus the following. 30% of the daily basic rate, if work is performed on rest day or special day. 50% of the daily basic rate, if work is performed on special day falling on employee's rest day. 30% of employee's regular holiday rate, if work is performed on a regular holiday falling on employee's rest day. Oh, and by the way, salary is paid in cash at least once every two weeks or twice a month, at intervals not exceeding 16 days. It shall be paid directly to you. Will I also be entitled to 13th month pay? Yes. Rank and file employees who have worked for at least one month are entitled to 13th month pay. May I also know what are the leave benefits that are afforded to employees? Well, some of the leave benefits that an employee may avail include 5 days service incentive leave with pay for employee who has rendered at least one year of service. 7 days paternity leave for a male employee, of 
bailed right after his legitimate spouse gives birth or has a miscarriage. On the other hand, a female employee is entitled to maternity leave of 60 days for normal delivery and 78 days for caesarean section delivery. 7 days solo parent leave to a solo parent to enable him or her to perform parental duties and responsibilities. Those are just some of the compensation and benefits that we, as employees, are entitled to. Now, in exchange of these, we are expected to work under management control, follow company rules and policies, observe proper care in the use of facilities and avoid wastages, and contribute to productivity. Any more questions, Jerome? For the moment, no more questions, ma'am. Thank you for all the information. Good. I will be providing you with the company rule book to serve as your guide. And feel free to approach me if you have any questions. Thank you, ma'am. You may officially start on Monday. Again, congratulations and welcome to the company. Thank you and good day. Wow I made it! Thanks to the pointers I got from Dole's employment guide. I can't wait to share the good news with my friends. For more details, visit www.bwc.dole.gov.ph, brought to you by the Department of Labor and Employment. More than jobs. It's decent jobs.